Hi dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam and today I'm going to lead you through an advanced practice with minimal cues. So this is going to be a very meditative flow and what I mean by that is I'm really only going to be cueing you by giving you the name of the pose that we're going into. So that is another reason why this is an advanced practice. We are going to go through some fairly complicated sequencing as well as just the plain simple fact that I'm not going to be giving any alignment cues or anything like that so it really does help if you already have some knowledge of these poses. We don't need any props for this, just yourself and your mat and this is a great great flow to do if you are prepping for audition season and just kind of need to turn your brain off for a second and keep your body nice and fit and strong for all of those upcoming auditions. Anyways, we're gonna get started by standing at the top of your mat. Feet are gonna be together, toes together, heels about an inch or so apart. And let's just shine the palms forward, open your chest nice and wide, wide, sorry, and just take a moment to close your eyes and feel grounded in the floor. Notice which points of your feet are in contact with your mat. Notice how your arch curves up and away from your mat. You feel like there's energy from your feet emanating into the floor like the roots of a tree. And feel that we're able to grow up and away from this connection to the floor. So we're almost moving in two directions. The crown of our head is reaching up towards the sky, all the soles of our feet reaching into the earth. Take three more breaths here. And opening up the eyes. We'll begin with a couple basic variations of sun salutation. I'll lead you through the first round. So inhale, arms come up together to touch. Exhale to swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale to fold, plank. Take another inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upper dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take three breaths here.
you finished your third set, just take three more breaths, keeping the arms open. Coming to tree pose, right leg lifts for three breaths. Leg cycles in knees to touch and re extends four times. Last time, stepping out into a long lunge, easy twist. Sorry, side plank from your easy twist. Coming back to plank, five breaths. Bending in, extending up 
four times. Inhale, right leg lifts up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, re-extend. Repeat four more times. Last time, knee in. Flip the back heel leg triangle. Plank knee in, 
warrior two. Again, release that right foot in almost like a ball change. Step to face the other side of the mat. Side lunge and spine awesome. Malasana. From here, I'm going to transition into crow and take it from crow pose into headstand. This is something you have not tried before. Feel free to go into crow, come on out, and then go into your headstand. back to your child's pose. And coming back up, making your way to all fours. Right leg comes forward for pigeon. Forward fold. And release. 
release. Rolling over, finding Janu Shirsasana. That's a new pose, left leg is extended, arms come up. Exhale to fold. To center, open up to Shavasana, getting comfortable. This is where I will leave you today. Feel free to hold Shavasana for as long or as short as you would like. Please, before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed today's practice, and I hope I'll see you on the mat again very soon. Have a great day.